Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be solving uh, problem 4 on Project Euler. So we're just going to go ahead and actually go through the step by step uh, solution and um, hopefully we get the right answer. Um, so what we want to do is just go through the problem. It says that a palindrome is a number that reads both ways. The largest palindrome made from two uh, digit numbers is 9009 which is the product of 91 and 99. Uh, find the largest palindrome made from the product of two, three digit numbers. So what I want to do first is figure out how to reverse a number and how to check to see if it's a palindrome. And then what we need to do is find an effective way of actually checking um, the three digit number to see if it's a palindrome or not. So let's go ahead and create a class in Java and um, write the code. So what I'm going to do is just create a class and I'm going to call this um, largest palindrome. All right. And I'm just going to make this bigger. The first thing we want to do is we want to create a method that reverses a, a number or what we can do is create another method that reverses a string. We can convert the number to a string, reverse that string and then uh, convert it back to a number or we can just go ahead and convert the number uh, in terms of um, math formula. So let's do it. Go ahead and actually create uh, one that reverses the number um, using math. So what I want to do is want to return the number and make this a long and I'm going to call this uh, reversed. What it's going to do is take going to take in a number. Uh, what I want to do is we want to create a variable to keep track of our reverse number. And um, also we want to get uh, the last number of the number itself. So we're going to say uh, while the number uh, is greater than zero. What we want to do is we want to get the last number. So we're going to say reduce equals to number uh, mod 10. And then what we want to do next is we want to say reversed is equals to reversed times 10 plus the reduced number. And lastly, what I want to do is we want this to uh, divide the number by 10. So we're going to say number divided by is equals to 10. And what we can do next is just return the reverse number. Uh, so what we want to do next is we want to create a variable that can easily check the reverse state to see if it's a palindrome or not. So we're going to say uh, create another pu public static uh, boolean, and we're going to check to see call this is palindrome. This is going to take in the long, call this number. So we're going to say return uh, reverse, and then we're going to pass a number. And if that equal equal to number, then it's a palindrome. So now what I want to do is finally want to go ahead and uh, find the actual uh, largest palindrome. So I'm going to call this, this is going to be a long, I'm going to call this largest palindrome. And what this is going to do is take in the two numbers that we want to pass in. I'm going to say I'm going to call this long A and this is going to be long B. Then what we want to do is we need to um, create a variable to hold our result. So I'm going to say uh, long result is going to equal to zero. And then we need another variable to hold the largest uh, palindrome. So we're going to create another variable called largest. So what we want to do is we want to efficiently create a way to get the largest palindrome. Uh, so what we can do is we can create two for loops. So I'm going to say uh, long a or long x uh, equal to a and then uh, x is greater or let's say greater equal to zero uh, x minus minus and then we create an inner, inner loop. I'm going to say for long y equal to b 
and y is greater or equal to zero, uh, y minus minus. And then what we want to do is we want to check to see if first one we want to do is we want to say that the result is going to equal to y times x, right? And when you check, it's going to say if uh, is palindrome and then the result. That what we want to do is we want to say largest equals to math dot max, and then uh, what we want to do is pass in largest and a result, All right? Then what we want to do next is we want to go ahead and return the result. I mean, we want to return largest. All right. Um, the thing here is that since we already have, uh, since we already have um, the lowest, we already have the palindrome for nine nine for ninety one and nine 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 for the base case. Uh, what I want to do is just check against the base case. But for this part of the conditional, what we can do is we can start at number greater than ninety nine. All right. But let's go ahead here and write it run this in main so what I want to do is I uh, get a shortcut and I'm gonna pass in largest palindrome and what I want to do is I want to type in 9 and 99 nine to make sure that we get our base case right so I'm gonna go ahead and run this and uh, what we get is 9009, which is the right answer. So what I want to do is to efficiently get this right, let's uh, make this to be greater than 99 to reduce the amount of competition that we have to go through. So go 99. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to add in nines here for 999 and 999. And when we run this, copy this number and let's uh, paste it in Euler and see if that's right. So go ahead, paste, and put in the code for that. And let's say check. And you guys can see the answer is correct. All right, this, this will be it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you can ask me anything on the comment section below. If you like the video, subscribe and like. Thank you.